Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Ready to begin, let the wonder take hold. Really try you in, watch the moment unfold. Spark a team that we're meant to follow, setting out for a new tomorrow. Welcome back to my channel and today I am doing the Disney tag um, There is a lot of questions on my computer on my right side So I'm just gonna go straight into it and I hope you enjoy Question 1. Favourite Disney movie? Oh, um, Beauty and the Beast, Tangled, Mulan, Little Mermaid I think they're my top ones I always go back to uh, number two, Walt Disney World or Disneyland Paris. I've only ever been to Disneyland Paris. I've never been to Walt Disney World, but I'm pretty sure that would be amazing as well. So, favorite Disney princess and favorite Disney character. Uh, favorite princess is Belle. I mean, in case you can't tell by my ears. Um, favorite Disney character, um, Tinker Belle. I quite like her. She's a little mischievous. Yeah. What type of Disney item do you collect the most? Uh, for example, pins or dolls or vinyl mations. What the hell is that? Vinyl. Um, I don't. I I haven't been there in like 13 years, so I haven't. I don't collect anything. But I think if I go, I probably will get like a pin of the hotel, a pin of my favourite character. You know, so I have the memories. But I don't. I wouldn't call myself a cook. I, I would. I don't think I'd collect everything because it is quite expensive, and I'd have to save up. <coughs> um, your favourite Disney song? Oh my word! <laughs> so many decisions. Um, I have two. I have Beauty and the Beast, um, Taylor's like Taylor's oldest time song, um, and then um, um, the Hunchback of Na Notre Dame. Uh, out there, I think that song was just amazing, and yeah. And if you haven't watched that, go watch it. What's wrong with you? Um, favorite attractions, attraction slash ride at the parks. I I don't really remember. Thirteen years ago was a very long time for me, and I was only like eight or seven or something like that, so I don't really remember. Um, I have kind of looked on like uh, their website and that, and I'd say the ride I'd probably like to go on is like, is it called Splash Canyon? Here it's like a log flume ride, at least that's what I would generally call it, but uh, yeah, um, to be honest, I'd try out all rides, except for ones where they go upside down, I don't like upside down rides. Um, <clears throat> dream job at Disney, this is question 8, I keep forgetting to say the numbers, uh, dream job at Disney. Um, I don't think I would actually like to work at Disney, um, only because like I'd rather go there to enjoy my time there. Not saying the people who work there don't enjoy their time there, but I'd rather be the big kid who gets to see their big favourite characters. They like a dream job, um, um, you know the um, lighting displays that they do like on the castle and stuff like that, or when they open a new restaurant, like. I'll happily do that because in my course like we learn that stuff so I'll do that Disney if you're hiring <laughs> there you go. but yeah no um, I'll do that that'll be probably more what I would rather do don't think I could actually work inside Disney I'd, I'd rather go there too yeah <laughs> spend a lot of time with family you know just look around and all that stuff especially if you haven't been there before you know Who's the um, number nine? 
who's the park character you never want to miss meeting at the parks? Um, Belle and Beast are one of them. Um, Mickey and Minnie, because it all started with the mouse, Mickey. So, you gotta go see them. Um, yeah. Um, what's your most treasured Disney item? You know, it's actually funny, I was, I did kind of glance at these questions before I, um, answered them, and I was actually looking around my room to see if there was anything I had 13 years ago that I got from Disney, because I remember I got a lot of stuff when I was at Disney 13 years ago, but I've kind of changed over the years and all that stuff, and I've got rid of some stuff, and then, like, you know, and just that sort of stuff, but... I oh, kind of hope you can see this, but I've kept this. It's like a little globe. This was back in 2004, so I will tell you the price. It was um, three euros and ninety cents. Um, I don't think it would be that now, as it was 13 years ago, literally. But it's just a globe, and it's got the castle as a background. Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, Donald, and Daisy. And yeah, and just do that, and it glitters. And I still got it. It's alright, I mean it's a bit dusty in some places so I'll probably wipe that off, but yeah. Don't think that would definitely be 3 dollars now. Oh, <coughs> oh. Um. yeah. Um. Do, 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 do. Ooh, where am I at? Which Disney voice actor would you like to meet? Ooh, that's a very good question. I don't remember reading that. Um. Oh crap, I can't remember his um, name, um, but he's the one who does the voice of Olaf, and he was also Lumiere, I hope I said that right, Lumiere, in um, Beauty and the Beast in the uh, live action film, and uh, yeah, uh, he seems pretty funny, and every time I hear his voice I'm literally like, oh my god, it's Olaf, like, like you'd, I just know it's his voice, so... Yeah, he would be one I would definitely like to meet. Favourite, uh, number 12, favourite Disney movie that's not a classic or famous? Um, maybe The Hunchback of Natural Dawn? Dame, Dawn, whatever it's called. Um, I don't know if that is as popular as it used to be, I'm not sure, but I know that's not one most people say, so I'm going to go with that. <coughs> If you could say anything to Walt Disney right now, who what uh, who would it be? <laughs> what would it be? Um, thank you for creating this magical place for us. Uh, your favourite snack to get at the parks? I mean, again, I don't know. Um, I haven't. <laughs> I don't actually remember eating there. I mean, obviously I did, but I don't remember what I ate, and I don't think what they have now is because that it says it samples of what there are and they don't sound familiar and I don't recognise the name so I don't think they had them 13 years ago if they did I completely missed that or I didn't eat them but yeah I don't think I don't think I've really had like one of the main snacks at the parks like the Mickey ice cream bars although I am quite intrigued to eat that but yeah and something called churros. Churros? Cheerios? No. Oh, I don't know. So yeah, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure when I next go, hopefully, uh, well yeah, when I next go, because that's next year, um, I will happily try them out. Um, your favourite parade slash show at the parks? Um, I don't really remember the one 13 years ago. I know I went to it, because I remember I was standing with mum, my friend Megan, and her mum Helen <clears throat> I think yeah because they were our roommates in the uh, hotel room um, so, so I know I have seen it but I can't really remember it I love the um, afternoon parades when they all go around it's like celebrating the magic I don't think that was the song back in 2004 but I remember because I was there for Mardi Gras I was there with my um, dance school um, we um, we were actually in the parade ourselves. It was only for one day, but I liked the fact that I got to experience being in the parade as well as the next day out of the parade. So I quite like that. Um, 
and uh, I was just always her. I was meant to be dancing quite a lot, but I ended up kept waving to people a lot. You know, when you're that age and someone waves to you, you're like, you have to wave back. So it's like, yeah, hello, yeah, hi, you know. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> so I do like the afternoon parades and there's mo a lot more characters than there was when I was there, so yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. Um, I have seen Wishes, I've only seen that on YouTube though, so I don't really know if that counts. And I've also seen Happily Ever After on YouTube, I saw it live when it was on the Facebook and, uh, uh, and that, <clears throat> um, but I would seriously like to go in and see that. Wishes I'm upset that I don't really get to go see, but obviously I'm hoping, oh well, happily ever after, uh, yeah, that looks pretty sick on YouTube, so probably, yeah, that'd be good to see in person as well. Okay, number 16, Flounder, Sebastian or Scuttle? Flounder, you know, it's actually really funny, me and mum were actually watching Little Mermaid last night, and I went to her going, did I used to have a Flounder teddy, like, like a little stuffed animal of him? And she was like, yeah, you did actually. And I was like, I thought I did, because I have a vague memory of me like holding my flounder teddy. So I'm going to have to go with little flounder. <coughs> Your favourite Disney memory? My favourite Disney memory, you know, I've actually got quite a few, but the one that I really full on remember is that um, because I was at Disneyland Paris with Mardi Gras with my dance school and all that and those other dance schools, we all got given a Mardi Gras hat. And uh, so, but because it was so hot, you know, when you're that age, you don't really want to wear it, but your parents are like, you gotta wear it, you wear your hat, you know, and all that stuff. Don't worry, mum, you didn't sound like that when you said it, but, um, <clears throat> but so anyway, I was wearing my hat, and uh, yeah, I was wearing my hat, and I went up to see Mickey and I, uh, Mickey, Minnie, and I was very, very excited to see Minnie, and uh, all of a sudden, she just like, she kind of like looked at me, and I was a bit like, Hi. You know, she just like stared at me like for a second and I was a bit like looking at my mum like what's going on? <laughs> and then she just like full on like hit my head like and I was a bit like, like what? <laughs> like, and then she just like because obviously she can't talk but I was she was just so like full on hitting my head and I was just like what is she doing? Like that bit wasn't my favourite part but <laughs> and then mum came over because the guy was like, you go over, the little girl's not understanding. Of course I wouldn't. If someone hits me on the head, I'm not going to understand what the flipping hell they're trying to tell me, am I? Like, uh, can I hit you on the head? Like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to get from that. And then she somehow managed to actually point to Mardi Gras on my hat. And uh, it's really sad. I've actually still got this autograph book to this day. And she... Um, and then mum figured out eventually that she was saying, um, ma like saying, is she Mardi Gras? Like, and uh, mum was like, Mardi Gras? And then Minnie's like, and then uh, she's just like, oh yeah, yeah, she, she was dancing earlier on today. So in all my autograph books that I got, I got her, she wrote on it. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can, but if you can't, I'm really sorry. It says, keep dancing mini like it says keep dancing mini and i just thought that was li literally a cute message because no other character did that they just wrote pluto donald lilo and then because i was mardi gras that she wrote that cute little message for me and yeah i just yeah so i quite like that i got that cute little note from mini i've got a really itchy nose all of a sudden um so yeah um do you have a favorite pair of mickey ears i've got three I've got this one, and then I've got these retro mini uh, Mickey ears. So there's, I hope you can see that. There's mini, <laughs> I can't see. And then there's Mickey on that side, and then it's got like a silver glittery bird. These are for when I got these from, um, uh, I've also got these as well. From, I will put the links to this down below, by the way. But from Image is UK and I've looked at her website and they're quite good so I'll put links to these down below by the way <coughs> oh cute just gave me four little more studs and then one says made for mouse I can't remember which is which oops this card is for that one so yeah so there's made for mouse and then there's image for is but they're both really good I think made for mouse was the, these ones because of the 
and then image is is the ones I'm wearing now. Yeah, so these are like retro style and me and mum these are gonna be for me and mum to both share when we're in Disneyland next year. Well Walt Disney World even. And uh, so um, yeah. So this is silver then and it's got like a little Mickey there. But also on the back here it's got a little love heart as well. And I just thought that was really cute. Um, and then I've also got these retro, sort of retro Beauty and the Beast, like when they're dancing around, you know, and all that. And it's gold and sparkly. <coughs> but um, me and Mum really want to go to the BR Guest Restaurant. And um, uh, so when we go to that, I wanted to get two Beauty and the Beast sort of themed ears. So um, <coughs> we're both wearing them when we're there. Um, uh, your favourite princess dress slash outfit um, I have a few actually um, Snow White by the way if you're wondering if you can see a Snow White costume in the back it's because my singing teacher is doing a show and um, uh, my, I, I'm a few characters but my main character is that I'm Snow White um, yeah mm. so, I'm, so I'm being Snow White um, in case you can wonder why I've randomly got a snow white dress in the background um, and it needs to be ironed <laughs> but yeah um, so favourite princess dress slash outfit um, I really like bells when it's the yellow ball gown and I even like the live version one I literally thought that was so pretty <clears throat> I also like Ariel's green dress I don't remember when she wears a green dress though. Oh yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. When she wears that green dress halfway through the film. Yeah, so they're my two favourites. Your favourite Disney soundtrack? I've actually got the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack, the live action one, and I literally love that soundtrack so much. I would literally play it all day. Um, Genie, Abu, Carpet, Ayago, or Vaji? Uh, Genie, like... I mean, rest in peace, but to the actor, but yeah, Genie, Genie always made me laugh. So, uh, favorite restaurant to at uh, favorite blah, 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 blah. favorite restaurant at the parks. Yeah, I'll get there in the end. Um, I don't really remember. I remember we ate at Hollywood Planet <clears throat> in Disneyland Paris, and I remember because it was ridiculously hot. Uh, our parents made us wear the hat but uh, my friend Siobhan it was really funny she didn't wear a hat and then it and when um, her, my mum and Megan's mum got the bill it was a lot cheaper than they thought it was gonna be so without the sounding bad because it was cheaper like mum questioned it because I was shut sure, that's a bit weird that it's a bit cheaper you know I mean not that we're complaining but why is it cheaper? Because they didn't explain why it was cheaper. And then they said, oh, because they're Mardi Gras, they get 10% off. And then, of course, Sandra was like, Siobhan, I told you to wear that bloody hat. <laughs> and I just thought that was so funny because, obviously, she didn't get hers 10% off. We did tell her that she was part Mardi Gras with us, but obviously, if she's not wearing the hat, or proof that she's Mardi Gras. Yikes. It's going to be a really long video. I'm sorry, it cut out on me. Um, yeah, so... We ended up getting 10% off. I really heard you. Really hope it's recorded half of that message. Favourite iconic moment, for example, Ariel on the rock, Aladdin finding the lamp, Rafiki lifting Simba. Um, hmm. You know, actually, I actually quite like in um, Tangled when it's probably going to be the most obvious choice in the world. In Tangled when um, uh, Rapunzel and Flynn are lifting the lanterns, like that scene is just so cute and it's like well not cute but like it's really romantic as well and it's just yeah I really like that scene what's the saddest moment for you in any Disney film when a character dies I mean when Mufasa died like that was just really upsetting and Simba was there like dad dad wake up dad and you're just there and he's not waking up and you're literally there like like, even at like five years old, I got what that meant, and I was just like, <laughs> If you could live in any world from a Disney movie, which would you choose? Ooh, um, maybe Belle, but that's only because I get the big library. 
<laughs> or at least the, uh, see the library anyway. I like books, so that's why I connect with Belle. So yeah. Um, or I would be Ariel, so that way I get to live under the sea and I'm a mermaid, so. Um, <clears throat> which Disney princesses has the best psychic? Ooh, psychic. Oh, I actually like uh, Entangled Rapunzel's little comedian. I think it's called that. I can't remember the actual name of it. Uh, and also in it, Max Maximus, Maximus the horse, like that character, so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, them two. I quite like them too. Um, if you could have a party themed around any Disney movie, which would you pick? I wouldn't pick a Disney film, I would just say I'm having a Disney themed party and you can dress up as any Disney character and Pixar character. So you can be Woody, you can be Belle, you can be Beast, you can be whatever you want. As long as it's Disney. <clears throat> Are you the only one obsessed with Disney in your family or does it actually run in the family? Well, it's a shame I'm on main it. Um um see mum's uh, uh, see me and mum, mum's the one who actually got me into Disney and I love Disney well because she got me into it and mum also loves Disney um, Uncle Gordon and grandparents probably not so much um, but me and mum, the ones who live in the, this house basically I wouldn't go as far as to say we're obsessed, but we do absolutely love Disney and we're grateful for what? I it all. Probably just wind. Yeah, so we're grateful for what <coughs> like he's done because he's created this whole world for young people as well as adults and older people, you know, it's just, yeah. Um. Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, Cogsworth or Chip? Um, well that's a toughie. See, I really like Lumiere and Cogsworth and Mum really likes Mrs. Potts and Chip. So I'm going to go with me, Lumiere and Cogsworth and Mum, Mrs. Potts and Chip. <clears throat> what are your top five favourite Disney blogs on Tumblr? I don't know. I don't read any of that. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> if you could choose the plot slash adaption for the next Disney movie, what would it be? Ooh. That is a good question. I've ever thought of that one. Um, that is a good question. Um, I don't know. See, I, I do like to write, but I would say mum would write the story and then I'd design the story <laughs> and do it that way. So, leave that question for my mum. Favourite hotel at the parks? Uh, well, I've only been to one and that was Hotel Cheyenne? 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 I don't know how you say it. Um, and I've heard, when I was there, oh my god, the design decor in that room the only thing I liked in that room, and I actually remember this, was the foot lamp thing. Um, and now I've heard it's actually revamped. Piece of Disney clothing slash accessory you like to wear. Ooh, um, I've got a few Disney tops. Uh, um, they're mostly all from Primark, funnily enough. Um, but there's one where it has a picture of Snow White on it. And everyone obviously knows the quote, mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. Yeah. Well, on this one, it's made it a bit more, by the way I have a block now so please excuse me, um, and it says selfie selfie on my wall who has the most likes of them all and I just thought that was so funny because it's obviously about Facebook but also Facebook and Snow White it was quite, I just, I just found it really funny and I just, yeah, <laughs> and I've got that with me so, <clears throat> um, Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse as it all started with the mouse. Um, and who doesn't like Mickey? But I do like Donald Duck to be fair as well. 
What Disney movie slash worlds would you like to see in the next Kingdom Hearts game? Sorry? Which Disney movie, even if it's not your favourite, will always have a special place in your heart and for what reason? Tarzan. I don't really actually don't know why, it's just when you hear that song, you'll be in my heart from the Phil Collins. It's just, just it just hits here. And um, yeah. Yeah, and that's all the questions, guys. I This is going to be seriously a long video, so I better get started on that. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, someone used the same question. So I'll, put, I'll do a link to the questions below and I'll also do a link for these if people um, down below as well so that way you get to go look at that um, yeah um, and yeah and please like subscribe share comment yeah and uh, I'll see you guys next week for another video bye